Good evening and welcome back once again. You can see quite a few tired bodies and some downward conditions. Where against Porto today back in the Champions League. Only real changes to call out in terms of our normal starting 11 as Joaquin has come in at right back in place of Trippier just to give him a bit of a rest. Mudrick has come in at attack midfield in place of Pedri who's on downward condition unfortunately. We were probably going to rest him anyway so not too bad. Let's jump into the match. Would have been really good to have Pedri start in this one. Um... But just the way the matches have been going, probably would have had to rest him even if he wasn't on downward condition. Of course, we beat them 8-1 in the last match at Porto. But, like I say, a few tired bodies. Back and Castro both on downward oranges. And they're starting. Um, but we should be able to get through this and we've got more than enough quality to do so. We're in November now, so not long until we get a few players back to fill out the squad a little bit more. There's a few players on loan. The likes of... Uh, well, I can't remember his name. Anyway, here's Diaby. Diaby! Oh, good save. Bit of a strange save in the end, actually. He's back at... Nice ball. Mudrick! Good save. And it's over. The player I was trying to think of was the, the right back, the regen. Um, for the life of me, a great save there, though. Um, oh, God. I can't think of him. <laughs> but yeah, we've got a few players to come back. Messi coming back as well. He went out on his six month flown because we didn't really want to let him go on loan. Um, but they offered like 22 million or something like that. For six month loan, which is quite frankly ridiculous, so we accepted it. And forward areas actually were very strong in. Um, the wing backs, we definitely need that right back coming uh, back in as support for Trippier, just to rotate them. Here's Martinelli and Mudrick. Back has already been involved a couple of times. Is that offside? Did Martinelli just get in the way? I mean, he's playing it backwards there, so I don't... That's not offside. Um, anyway. Debushi. Debushi is the right pack. I just popped in my head. Madrid gives it away. Absolutely ridiculous. She could not win the ball back there. Trying to tackle him here. Should have just taken him out, really. Again, I don't know how he's holding them off. Well, going behind wasn't in the script. We certainly haven't been at our best. Clearly. Here's Martinelli. Back her again, off in support. And it's, a, oh, it's just over Castro. Here's Diaby. Not much space. Vieira. Martinelli. Ah. It fell for Vieira, but his back was turned. I'd already shot by the time that happened. Could have cancelled it, but didn't react in time. Anyway, we're nearly midway through the first half, and uh, we need to get a, f a foothold in this game. Not keeping the ball enough. Passing isn't the best. What is going on? Why is everyone falling over? Right, get up, Schubert. You don't need to stay on the ground that long. Nice little flick there. Martinelli doesn't really react quickly enough. And 
I don't know why no one ran towards the ball. Everyone ran away from the ball. Some strange goings on in this game. Jesus Christ, man. Right, Bellingham now. Need to bring it forward. What is going on there? Oh, yeah. Can't get a ball through. GRB. Nope, can't get it through. Foul. That's got to be a penalty. That head had gone backwards. <laughs> now Vieira. Somehow he tackles me even though he was miles away from me. Back at. Of course it deflects. Hmm. This is uh, not good. Not playing well, not getting the rub of the green. I think sort of not going well. It's a poor, poor cross, really. Ah, it's a foul. That was definitely a foul. Good tackle. Now Diaby. Well, that's going to be half time. A shocking first half. Yeah, it was poor. It was we beat them 8 1 last time, and we just have not performed today. I don't think we've had much luck. Um, like we had things not going our way, but. It probably deserved to be behind. Um, or at least, certainly not winning. But little things like that, every deflection seems to be bouncing to their player. It's one of those games that happens and every pass I play is getting blocked. So that there's definitely some scripting going on, that's for certain. Um, but a lot of it is just down to me. I mean, look at this. Oh, I was going to say that was scripted that I fell to them, but they've hit the post. Just about got a body sort of halfway in the way just to put him off. Um, but that's been our game. Came all day. Everything's fallen to them. But we're just playing poorly. Come on, let's pick this up now. And Castro there. He's, why didn't he get that ball? It was a good pass to him. He just didn't move towards the ball. It's a bit better. Now DRB. Mudrick. Oh, good save. Ugh, of course, we get a shot on goal and it's an outstanding save. Mudrick. Now Vieira. So many bodies in the way here. Nicely played out wide to back it. That'll be another corner. Right, let's look to make some subs now. Okay, so we're taking off Castro for Xerxes and we are going to bring on Herrera for Bellingham. Hopefully just to shoe up that midfield and maybe get some decent tackles in and break play up. And no one's played well, but Bellingham certainly uh, hasn't. And it's in. I was going to say it was a good save. But came straight back out of Martinelli. Haven't got a goal. It's actually Martinelli that got on it in the first place. And decent save. And that's the first bit of luck we had in terms of you know, the ball falling to us fortuitously. Decent 
Peterson first had it per second. Okay, so we're back on level playing field here now. And yeah, maybe starting Castro on a downward orange wasn't the best thing to do. But on a normal day, he still would have played well. But everyone's been playing pretty shockingly in this game so far, which hasn't helped. Oh, that's a poor pass. But every pass, even decent passes we're playing, they're getting picked off. So like I say, there's definitely some scripting going on. And you, you can't get away from that. Just it is what it is. Here's Martinelli now. Nice ball into Zerxie, but his first touch is so... Like, so slow at reacting. Like, normally he would have just taken a touch. And move forward. Anyway... What is going on? It's not where I was passing it at all, by the way. Again, we should have got that, but we didn't. That's a pretty bad tackle. Here's Mudrick. Yara. And again, every pass getting blocked. I don't know what really we can do about that. It's... Uh, Yeah, and out. And Mudrick. Come on. There's nothing going away there. Good tackle. They get it back. Yeah, we're not going to make that third substitution, by the way. I just wasn't really anyone I want to take off or bring on necessarily got lots of tired bodies on the bench nice tackle from Joaquin Pierre nice play to Martinelli now Zixi Pierre again Oh, he's offside. I think it was fractional. Yeah, I mean, it's... Technically, he's offside, but it's so close. Absolutely cut us open there. Again, it just feels like a scripted game where why are the defenders so far apart? Great ball in. I really don't want to watch that. Uh, and even from the kickoff, we can't keep the ball. Um, what is going on here with this passing? Yeah, right. Sexy. Cannot. We just can't keep the ball. Doesn't matter what we do, they're winning the ball back. Every deflection's going their way. Bar the goal we scored. Which I was actually surprised that that went our way. And see there, just little things trying to play the ball forward. Herrera now. Madrick, Sexy. Is that a free kick? It is. But again, we just could not get the ball through. Ooh, Vieira's got to take this, surely. And it's in! A free kick right at the end of this game. Vieira slotted it away. Took a little deflection off the wall. He was heading towards the top corner. What a way to get the equaliser, though. I don't know how much time will be added on. Four minutes is still a little bit of time. Got to be careful, though, because remember, everything seems to be going Porto's way. So, 
Oh, Xerxes running it back here. Really good play from him. Xerxes. Diaby. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. The whole game, we don't get any luck. And then, right at the end, you've got to feel sorry for the keeper. And he's, Diaby's jumping in the crowd. Amazing scenes. All right. Great play from Xerxes, winning the ball back. Try to chip the keeper, but just as I did, he held back. Good save. And I don't know what the defenders are doing there. I actually thought that it bobbled off one of them, but it didn't touch them. They should have just thrown the body at it and, and cleared it. So it wasn't really that lucky, I suppose. And Diaby with the easiest goal he's ever going to get. And probably one of the most important. And there it is. Full time. How we have won that game, I have absolutely no idea. But we were shocking in that game. I mean, Cavardial getting it. A seven, a four even. Martinelli getting a 7.5, Vieira of a seven. I totally disagree. For once, I think those ratings are too high. I don't think anyone should have got higher than six, six and a half. Three points and what a way to win it. Two one down with less than a minute a goal of normal time and somehow we've won it. And more importantly, as you can see from the celebrations at the end, it means we're through to the knockout stages. We're still joint top with Chelsea in that group. I believe we're playing them either the fifth or the sixth game. That'll probably decide who finishes top spot in the group still only a couple of days rest till the next match against Levante but then we've got a gap of over a week to rest those tired bodies and then we'll be starting to approach towards the end of November by that stage so join us then hit that like button drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all next time cheers